In this video, you'll learn how to install FileZilla CLI. First, buy FileZilla CLI from the FileZilla Pro website. The operating system will ask you to confirm you want to allow this program to make changes to your device. Once you confirm, the FileZilla command line wizard will guide you through the installation process. You are asked to agree to FileZilla command line's license terms and privacy policy. FileZilla command line asks you to decide if anyone can use it on your computer or if it is only for your user account. Make your choice and click Next. FileZilla command line then asks you which component you want to install. If you wish to have an icon on the desktop, select that option. Next, you have to decide where to install FileZilla command line. If you are OK with the default location, just click on the Next button. Now you can choose the Start Menu folder for FileZilla CLI. Again, if you are OK with the default name, just click on the Next button. Note that if you don't want to create a shortcut, you can select the checkbox at the bottom left. FileZilla command line is getting installed. Once FileZilla CLI is installed, you can launch it from the desktop. On the first run, FileZilla command line prompts for registration. You will be asked to provide the registration key, or if you do not have the registration key, enter the email you used when you purchased FileZilla CLI. FileZilla command line terms and conditions are shown. Enter yes to accept them and start using FileZilla CLI. You are all set. Thank you for choosing FileZilla command line. In this video, you learned how to install the command line version of FileZilla Pro. In this tutorial, you will learn how to register offline your copy of FileZilla CLI. If you're behind a corporate firewall that doesn't allow FileZilla CLI to register or you need to register your copy without internet access, you might need to register offline. Launch FileZilla CLI. In the Register Now prompt, choose the Offline option. In the Enter Registration Confirmation prompt, choose No. In order to register your copy of FileZilla Pro, you need the registration key. If you don't have the registration key, you can use your purchase details to register. Enter your registration key. The registration request is shown. You can copy it to the clipboard or save it to a file. Now visit FileZilla Pro registration website. Either paste the registration request, or if you have saved it in a file, click Browse to load the file. Accept FileZilla Pro terms and conditions. Submit the registration request. A confirmation code is created. Either copy it to the clipboard or save it to a file. Back to FileZilla CLI. Enter the registration confirmation code. Now FileZilla CLI is registered. In this video, you learned how to register FileZilla CLI offline. In this tutorial, you will learn how to transfer files using FileZilla command line. Launch FileZilla CLI. To connect to a remote site, enter the connect command followed by the protocol type, user, password, and server host name or address. To list the content of the current directory, enter the ls command. To change the current directory, use the cd command. To see what is in the current directory, enter the pwd command. To change the local current directory, use the lcd command. To upload a file, enter the command put followed by a local file name. To download a file, enter the command get followed by a remote file name. In this video, you learned how to transfer files using FileZilla CLI. In this tutorial, you will learn how to access cloud storage services that require an authorization using FileZilla CLI. Some storage services like Google Drive, Google Cloud, and Dropbox require an additional authorization step. Launch FileZilla CLI. Enter the connect command to connect to the remote cloud storage of your choice. An authorization URL is shown. Copy the URL and paste it in your web browser address field. If you are not logged in yet, you'll need to enter your credentials. Grant FileZilla CLI access to your data. After the authorization is completed, you may close the browser. FileZilla CLI asks you to trust the server certificate. Choose Yes to continue. 
Now you can access your remote files. In this video, you'll learn how to access cloud storage services that require an authorization using FileZilla CLI. In this tutorial, you will learn how to access cloud storage services that require an authorization using FileZilla CLI. Some storage services, like Box and OneDrive, require an additional authorization step. Launch FileZilla CLI. Enter the Connect command to connect to the remote cloud storage of your choice. An authorization URL is shown. Copy the URL and paste it in your web browser address field. If you are not logged in yet, you'll need to enter your credentials. Copy to the clipboard the code generated by the cloud provider. After the authorization is completed, you may close the browser. In FileZilla CLI, paste the authorization code. FileZilla CLI asks you to trust the server certificate. Choose Yes to continue. Now you can access your remote files. In this video, you learned how to access cloud storage services that require an authorization code using FileZilla CLI. In this FileZilla CLI tutorial, you will learn how to view and change the settings and how to get help on the commands. Launch FileZilla CLI to see a list of available settings. Enter the set command without parameters. To view the current value for a setting, enter the set command followed by the name of the setting. Some settings don't have a default value. To modify a setting, enter the set command followed by the name of the setting and the new value. Check the setting new value by using the set command followed by the name of the setting. To make the changes permanent, enter the set save command. The changes in the settings have been saved now. For a list of available settings, visit the link you find in the description. While using FileZilla CLI, you may need to learn how to use a command. Enter the command help followed by the name of the command. The help command shows you how to use the command along with a short description and the available options. Enter the help command without parameters to see the full list of commands. In this FileZilla CLI video, you learn how to view and change the settings and how to get help on the commands. In this tutorial, you will learn FileZilla CLI's commands to manage directories. Launch FileZilla CLI. Connect to a remote site. To change the local current directory, use the LCD command. To create a local directory, use the LMKD command. To download a directory and its contents, enter the command rget, followed by the name of the remote directory. To remove a remote directory, enter the command rmd, followed by the name of the remote directory. To create a remote directory, enter the command mkd, followed by the name of the new remote directory. To rename a local file or directory, enter the command lren, followed by the name of the file or directory and the new name. To upload a directory and its contents, enter the command rput, followed by the name of the local directory. To rename a remote file or directory, enter the command ren, followed by the name of existing file or directory and the new name. To remove a local directory, enter the command lrmd, followed by the name of the local directory. In this video, you learn how to use the commands to manage directories. In this tutorial, you will learn how to transfer multiple files with FileZilla CLI. Launch FileZilla CLI. Connect to a remote site. To download multiple files, enter the command mget, followed by a regular expression and an optional destination directory. If the destination directory doesn't exist, it will be created. To upload multiple files, enter the command mput, followed by a regular expression and an optional destination directory. If the destination directory doesn't exist, it will be created. For a description of the syntax of regular expressions used by FileZilla CLI, visit the link in the description. In this video, you learned how to use the commands to transfer multiple files. 
In this tutorial, you will learn FileZilla CLI's commands to rename multiple files. Launch FileZilla CLI. To rename multiple local files, use the command MLRN. This command can be used to replace text or add text to file names. To replace, use both search and replace parameters. To add text at the beginning of the file name, use the add parameter. To add text at the end of it, use the end parameter. When replacing, you can use the case parameter for case-sensitive search. By using the regex parameter, the search text will be handled as a regular expression. Optionally, you can provide a pattern to select which files are renamed. If omitted, all files in the current directory will be renamed. In the example, we are searching and replacing all files in the current directory. To rename multiple files on a remote site, first connect to it. For remote renaming, the command is MRN. The parameters are the same. In the example, we are searching and replacing all files in the current directory. In this video, you learn how to use the commands to rename multiple files. In this tutorial, you will learn how to handle errors with FileZilla CLI. Launch FileZilla CLI. FileZilla CLI sets an error flag when an error occurs while running a command. To show whether the error flag is set or not, use the error command. If a command fails, the error flag is set. To clear the error flag, use the clear command. To run a command only if the error flag is set, prefix it with the at symbol. To run a command only if the error flag is not set, prefix it with a question mark. Prefix the command with the caret symbol and the error flag is not set in case of error. To clear the error flag before running a command, Prefix it with the star symbol. You can also set the error handling behavior. With the option 0, the default, commands are run in any case. With option 1, the commands are skipped in case of error. With option 2, FileZilla CLI exits in case of error. If error handling behavior is set to skip in case of error and the error flag is set, you can force the command to run by prefixing the command with an exclamation mark. In this video, you learn how to handle errors with FileZilla CLI. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use FileZilla Command Line Site Manager. The Site Manager is where you add and edit server connections. To create a new server connection, enter the command site add followed by a name. If a server connection with the same name already exists, an error is returned. Choose a new name. A list of protocols is displayed. Enter the number corresponding to the chosen protocol. In the host prompt, either enter the host name or the IP address. In the port prompt, enter the port or press enter to accept the default. In the logon type prompt, enter the number corresponding to the desired logon type or press enter to accept the default. In the user prompt, enter the username. In the password prompt, enter the password. Enter the default local directory. Press Enter to leave it blank. Enter the default remote directory or press Enter to leave it blank. Now you are asked whether you want to enter advanced options or not. Enter the number corresponding to the server type or press Enter to accept the default. Choose if you want to bypass the proxy or not. Press Enter to accept the default. If you want to add a time offset from the server time, enter the hours and minutes offset. Enter the number corresponding to the transfer mode. The transfer mode configuration is available only for FTP. To know more about transfer mode, watch the transfer types video. You find the link in the description. You can also configure the number of concurrent connections. Lastly, you can set the character set used to communicate with the server. Your site is now configured and you can connect to it. To fix the connection error, you have to edit the site. Press Enter until you reach the item you want to modify. Now you can connect to the edited site. 
you may be prompted to trust the server certificate, enter Y to accept it, and continue the connection. To see a list of the sites, use the site list command. To delete a site, use the site del command. In this video, you'll learn how to use FileZilla command line site manager. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use FileZilla command line site manager's advanced features. The site manager is where you add and edit server connections. To view a list of your sites, use the site list command. This command lists the sites in the current folder. To create a new folder, enter the command site mkd. To change the current folder, use the command site cd. To know which folder is the current folder, use the command site cwf. New sites are created under the current directory. To create a copy of a site, use the command site copy. If you omit the destination name when copying a site, FileZilla Pro CLI adds a number to it. To return to the previous folder, use the command site cd followed by two dots. To remove a folder, use the site rmf command. You will be asked to confirm the removal of the folder and its content. In this video, you learned how to use FileZilla Command Line Site Manager. FileZilla CLI is fast and reliable. Plus, it supports a variety of other cloud protocols. Amazon S3, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud Storage, Google Drive, Dropbox, Microsoft OneDrive, OneDrive for Business, Amazon EC2, Backblaze B2, WebDAV, and SharePoint.